Congratulations, teachers, and welcome aboard. Now, I'll be talking about the list of things that you should do before teaching. So let's talk about life saving tools in ESL. Now let's proceed. So here are the five topics, important things to do for you to survive teaching ESL alone. First, you can use Manicam. Second, LightShot. This is an application where you can use the print screen easily. And Notepad. This is what we use to save any information or corrections that we are going to do inside the class. And you have to disable Windows Update for you to make sure that you will have a smooth class. Lastly, do not forget to upload the updated air class. So right now, guys, I'll be showing to you how we can upload Manicam. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, by the way, this is my personal vlog. This is Buhay Englishero. So I would really love you guys to like and subscribe my channel. So anyhow, let's talk about this uh, Manicam part of part of my vlog before. I've been sending this one to all Manicam. newbie teachers. And below this, you can see the link. And please do not forget to download uh, this one in your classes. This will give this will give miracles in your bookings. All right. Now let's talk about another discussion. Second, light shot. So I'll be sending a link here after this video. So already already saved a link earlier. So let's let me just show you how to download this. So it this will show afterwards. You just need to click Windows or for Mac users, you may click this uh, kind of button, the purple button. Afterwards, it will load. And you can use this easily as this. As you can see, I can save it like a picture in my desktop. As easy as that. Okay, now let's have another thing is the notepad. Why is it important to use notepad? Because you have to take down notes in every correction in your class. Make sure that you have corrected your students' um, pronunciation as well as the grammar. So you can take down notes here. And you can also uh, save some important reminders for yourselves. So afterwards, this is a notepad. Again, you just click search and type down notepad. And that's it. As easy as that. So you can open multiple notepads. And next, we have disable Windows Update. So the reason why I uploaded this video because I want you guys to know how to disable your um, Windows update in your computer to avoid any distraction in your class or else you receive another penalty. All right, so as a starter, you have to do this. So let's turn off now your Windows. With the Windows update first, you have to click Start button plus R, okay? Like this one. So I will we'll type it down here. Okay, I'll create another notepad to show you guys. Okay, not. All right, it's this one. Again, start plus R. Okay. Afterwards, it will show you this box. Then just type down service services that MSC. And it will show you the list of your running applications. 
you just need to find the Windows Update here. Okay, it's already disabled. So once you can see this, go to Properties again. Right click, go to Properties, and click Disable. All right, and click OK. To for you to use this one for for now, you have to uh, restart your computer after this after you turn off the enable button. Okay, that's for the Windows update. And lastly, you have to da uh, upload the updated Air class. Right now, teachers were using this. If I want to a a C now, it's like a circle logo. This, uh, this was updated like a week ago, so I want you guys to download this in your laptop. Then there is no like an application to click aside from this thing here. So as you can see, we have H5, we have the AC icon. Just click this one and you will see a download button just need to download it and you have to wait for a few minutes to complete the process afterwards once you have this one you make sure that this is updated by okay testing the detection like your microphone your microphone your speaker your camera and everything and click the tag bandwidth. Uh, you have, why you should click this? To test your internet connection. And go to menu. Afterwards, click update. So this is the latest version now, guys. It's 2.26.100.1. All right, so download this one. Once you're done, you're done downloading this uh, AC application next thing next thing is to you have to prepare for your printable materials so I have here a copy of tons of copy of printable materials that you can use in your class I just need to open this and print it out and you're ready to go that's it and those are all for free so I can find the link here but I'll be sending it I'll be uh, send it, sending it to you guys once we're done discussing the video so that's it for now guys uh, I won't take much of your time I know everyone is busy so I just want you to be prepared in teaching ESL so thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something and please comment down below if you have any questions. Bye for now, guys. Please click and subscribe.